I am Dr. Rajesh Mishra, working as glaucoma, cataract and LASIK surgeon at Advanced Eye Hospital, uh, a unit of Dr. Agrawal Eye Hospital. So we are going to discuss how to choose best lens for our cataract patient. Uh, much of the cataract surgery success depends on the type of lens we are going to choose. And type of lens is not a fixed criteria, it varies from patient to patient depends on patient need also. So during cataract surgery workup, we have to see a uh, corneal shape, corneal uh, astigmatism. We have to see anterior segment structure like uh, pre-existing corneal weakness. If it is there, then we have to do a specular bio microscopy just to see the corneal endothelial cell count. Then we have to assess the uh, keratometry reading with the help of uh, topography or IOL master. With the help of IOL master, we can see the lens power, we can accurately calculate it. Uh, anterior chamber depth, we have to see. Then we have to see like uh, whether any zonular weakness is there or not, lens support is adequate or not. All these kind of cataract patient need uh, proper retina checkup and glaucoma evaluation before surgery. So first of all, we should know uh, there are few types of lenses available. Broadly, they are hydrophilic or hydrophobic lenses. Hydrophobic lenses provides uh, better biomechanical support. They induce less inflammation and as a result, there will be less PCO or posterior capsule op opacification formation. So in future, there will be less chances of, uh, you know, like lens cleaning required. So what is single piece lens or three piece lenses? So most of the lenses are made up of uh, similar like hydrophilic or hydrophobic content. Uh, their haptic and optic will be of the same material. Whereas in three piece lenses, the haptic part is made up of uh, polymethyl methacrylate material. That's why it is more rigid. So broadly, lenses are of three types, monofocal lenses, multifocal lenses, and trifocal lenses. In the monofocal lenses, we tend to correct your distance vision. Uh, you will need reading glasses after the surgery. In uh, multifocal, we try to correct your distance as well as uh, reading glass distance uh, near vision. So that mostly will become uh, reading glass free. And in trifocal, additionally, we correct your intermediate vision also. Like uh, we will try to correct your uh, computer vision distance. So you will be uh, totally glass free after trifocal lens implantation. So question lies where to advise multifocal or trifocal lenses. Uh, if patient is uh, really willing to remove reading glasses after the surgery, then we suggest multifocal or trifocal lenses. So advantage of multifocal or trifocal is the, like they will have reduced lifetime cost of glasses and you know contact lenses as well as they will have more freedom to live happily without glasses after the surgery there are few conditions also where we should not advise multifocal or we have to judge whether really patient will benefit with multifocal or trifocal after surgery or not uh, because there are some limitations uh, during surgery we have to see like patients uh, ocular conditions like if they have pre-existing retina problem or if they have pre-existing advanced glaucoma then we should not advise multifocal in those patients if patient is already having some kind of uh, you know like uh, pseudo exfoliation problem or some active inflammation or you know like old history of uh, recurrent uh, uveitis there also we should not go ahead with multifocal in some patient if they are uh, having in other eye surgery done which was monofocal then also in most of the times we have seen that patient will not be uh, very happy after multifocal surgery in second eye. Uh, in some patients because of uh, rings uh, on the multifocal lenses they can complain of night vision issue, night vision driving or glare issues while driving. So there is different type of lens available it is known as toric lens. Usually normal lenses correct our spherical aberration like monofocal or multifocal, trifocal, they correct our spherical aberration or 
spherical number but if we have high cylinder number or pre existing uh, astigmatism then we need to correct astigmatism with the help of toric lenses toric lenses will correct spherical as well as cylinder number both and it is incorporated in monofocal as well as multifocal also so to conclude which iol option is best suited for you as you know like in medicine there is no single best answer we have to assess each and every aspect of your uh, daily requirement your need your lifestyle as well as your pre existing eye conditions uh, as well as budget also because premium lenses are costlier than uh, normal lenses as you know quality comes with price but once we choose lens whether it is monofocal or multifocal or trifocal these lenses are good for you and ultimately our aim is to provide you best vision